Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all fantastic and doing well. And thank you so much for all the new subscribers and viewers. Uh, I've noticed on the old app that it's gone up again. So thank you very much for that. Uh, it does mean a lot. And thanks for all the nice comments. Anyway, let's get on with the shave, shall we? Um, happy Easter, everybody. It's a Sunday shave. And uh, yeah, I'm going to introduce my razor first. So the razor is a Parker Semi Slant. It's got the Grapholite. Is it Grapholite? It's a Grapholite handle. I've had this for a while now. Um, I've had it for about five years, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's a slant bar razor. Slant bar, is it called? I think so. <laughs> no, inf no information again. <laughs> um, blade is going to be a Dorco stainless, which is stainless blade. Um, super sharp, high quality blades. That's why I've never used these blades, so this is new to me. Uh, the Made in Korea, that's the back of it. I've already opened. I took took one out the sleeve. I don't know if you can see that right. Is it too high, too short? I don't know. Too short. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's the razor I'm using. Super choice is going to be Phoenix Shavings, Crown King, Porfos. I think it's called Porfos. Great label. Love the label. I don't know if you can see it was the light shining just there. But I'll, I'll tilt it forward and back. If you can see that inside. That is what we're working with. I've took some out because I've put some into my Captain's Choice Copper Bowl, and it smells fantastic. This is a, their take on Aramis, is it? Aramis? Aramis? Aramis. This stuff here, anyway. I'll put that to the side, the box is here. That's the box. Put that tub down. That's the box it came with. It's their take on this. Um, from the nose and from the scent, it smells exactly like it, but I find the soap smells more powdery. Which I like more, to be honest. Um, I do like the scent of the Aramis, Aramis, whatever it is. Um, I do like the scent of it, but I, I enjoy this. I think I'd, 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 it'd work well if I got the splash for this. So, yeah, that's what we're working with. Brush, I've already whipped it up. I'm going to show you the Captain Choice Bowl first. Um, there it is. It's the uh, Copper XL, I think it's called. And that's the that's what I'm working with in there. I'm trying to do it quicker, that's why I did it. <laughs> uh, brush of choice is going to be, what's it called? Amber Aerolite 24mm Phoenix Shaving. Fantastic brush. I, lo I love inside this because I can see through the light. You can see all different swirl marks inside. It's a fantastic brush. It's a synthetic brush. Um, yeah, I love it. I'd love that to be a red handle. Maybe an Aerolite red or something. Um, I'd, lo I'd love a red one. But that's just my personal opinion. Maybe have a, a Chad Shaves edition. An all dream, can't we? I'm just putting some water into the sink now. I'm going to use a pre-shave. I'm not going to use anything yet because I need to load the razor. Jump in ahead, aren't I? Let me dry my hands. Or I'll cut my hands open on a razor. So yeah, this is a free piece. Twist it open. Twist it open. There you go. Yeah, I've got a bit of a cold. Uh, I don't know if you can tell in my voice. I've got probably one of the worst colds, the man flu. Oh, it's double wrapped. Um, I've caught it off my wife. Yeah, double wrapped. Put that over there. Let's have a look what the blade looks like. Oh, very nice. There you go, that's the blade. I'm gonna load it on top now, the cap. Yeah, I had these blades sent to me. Um, that was just like, I think it was Pinnacle Grooming. They threw a few sample, few sample uh, soaps in, and they sent me some blades. So thank you very much. I'm uh, just going to tighten it now, holding the edges. There you go, nice and tight. Lines up perfectly. There you go. Overhang very slightly. There is some, but it's very slight. So yeah, that's loaded. Now I can wet the mush. <laughs> oh. So uh, what are you all up to this Easter Sunday? Are you all eating loads of chocolate, eggs? <laughs> Me personally, I've gone off chocolate. It's too much. As you get older, I'll just start to go off it. Me personally. Um, I'm gonna put pre-shave on actually. I'm gonna put the cube on. And he dropped it then. <laughs> I'm gonna use the cube just because it's there. 
I mean, I'll keep looking over here. I've got a Merino. <laughs> I'll keep doing that. You need to remind me in the comments. Look in your mirror. <laughs> here we go. The bugs are mellow. Tash is coming up. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm already thinking about the end of the year. The November no shave. I'm already thinking about it. Do I, do I grow a moustache? That is the question. I might do, then I might not. I tried it once, and to be honest, I, I didn't like it. It was itchy, in, and I suppose you, once you get over a certain length, like anything, um, or growth, it'll, um, you start getting used to it, putting the oils and stuff on. Right, here we go. Look at that, woo! Let's have the Phoenix shaving. Their soaps are fantastic. Yeah, the CK Formula 6 is fantastic, slick. You don't really need a pre-shave with it, but it's, it's nice to have it anyway, isn't it? Like, the more protection you can put on your face, the better, really. Reduces that razor burn, but their soaps are fantastic. The scent still is pumping out. Probably about an eight for me. <laughs> Just landed on the scales, that bit of uh, lava. Look at that. Fantastic. Didn't take long to lather up either, uh, from the bowl anyway. I literally took, what, five minutes, if that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Right, let's get on with it. Let's heat some water onto the, heat some water onto the razor. Put some water onto the razor, hot water. <laughs> yeah, I'm not with it. I've still, I've got a cold coming. I can feel it on my chest and stuff, so. It is what it is. I'm just smile and crack on. Here we go. Uh, with the grain, is that straight? Yeah, with the grain, first pass. I'm gonna just strain it up a bit because if you do it a bit side, you're gonna have weird sideburns. So I'm gonna tilt it that way. There you go. This feels. It's not an aggressive razor. Uh, for, for my face, it feels more of a mid, like a mid aggression. I haven't used this race for a long time. Round them all. Just say, it's like a skin colour mole. So you catch that. <laughs> Let my blood bath on my hands. Yeah, my plans this, well, Sunday is nothing really. I'm just chilling out. I ain't got work until Wednesday. And that was a bit tuggy, to be honest, with that blade. Mm, a bit tuggy there. Yeah, a bit tuggy that blade for my face. Great, first pass. Yeah, a bit tuggy, that uh, blade. Maybe it'll be all right in the second pass. We'll soon find out. Yeah, it's the first time using that blade, really. I should have used it in a razor. I, I know what it feels like, you know. Just empty the sink. Right, rinse the bags. To be honest, it took a lot of it down. Look over here, Chad. <laughs> There's a mirror there. Not there. Well, there is a mirror there. Yeah, I see uh, my last video, a lot of people like my my brute bowl, my brute shaving bowl. Um, I didn't see, I've never seen one before until someone put in the comments about talking about it on Blade and Badger or Badger and Blade. And I thought, well, I haven't spoke about that. So I went on to Badger and Blade myself and had a quick look. It's just like a labyrinth. Uh, had a quick look to see this side, 
to have a look at what he was talking about because he says, oh, he was talking about it and he's going to use the puck. And I was like, I haven't got a puck with this one. So I had a look and somebody else has got one, which is, you know, I'm going to speak to him about it and see where they got theirs from and what the date is and stuff. Um, but I was surprised to see it, but he's got, or she's got one, or he's got one, I don't know. They've, um, they've got a puck, a brute shaving puck. And he was asking me if I would use it. The answer to that is yeah, <laughs> of course I would. I mean, it's nice to keep stuff, but if you've got it, you might as well use it. You know what I mean? It's nice to, you know, if you start, if, you, if I did get one, it's hard because like I say, I try to collect like two things, uh, vintage. I try to keep one and then use the other. But now I've got a channel, I'll probably use it to be honest. Right, we're going to second pass across the grain and see how this blade holds up. As I say, I don't get much growth on the sides. I do get some bits and dabs, but. But it's the underneath here and around the, the old moustache area. I want to thank you for everyone, well, I don't know if you have, <laughs> for going over to Instagram and following me. I'm now on 100 uh, followers, which is fantastic, you know. To be honest, it is nice to have the numbers, you know, as in, like, get a, load, a lot of subscribers and views and stuff. But for me, it's just show, you know, sharing the passion with like-minded people. That's all it is, really. That's how I look at it, anyway. I cringe every time I try and plug it, like, you know. Like, when I say, oh, please subscribe or whatever. I do cringe a bit when I say that because... I just, I just do. It's just my personal thing. Um, but I do plug the old comments because, like I say, it gives me ideas. You know, what your shaves of the days are, what you're going to be using in the week. Uh, going across that night. <laughs> be careful here now. I say, there's no overhang really, it's a little bit, but. Because the blade's not agreeing with me, I don't think. Or well, I'm not agreeing with the blade. <laughs> Yep, saying that'll be fine for a second pass. Yeah, I can still smell this, the scent from the soap. Yeah, really, really nice. Put this in a bit. Slickness is there, fantastic. Yeah, you can't, for, my, for me personally, Phoenix Shaving's probably one of my favorite um, vendors out there. Vendors, artisans, that's what I meant to say. Uh, artisans, um, that lot from the artwork to the quality of the soaps, just fantastic, and the quality of their products, you know. Um, and I love that they got back. I'm gonna put the third pass on. Third pass, you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm gonna have them for the third time. Um, I just think their products, like you can like, it's not. There's a story to each product, really. Like their collections, it's worth having a read. I mean, I ain't got. To be honest, I ain't got patience to read anything. <laughs> I don't. I'm, I don't really read books, and if I do, it's something that I'm interested in. As in, if I want to watch a, uh, sorry, if I want to read an autobiography of whoever, I can't really read sci-fi or anything like that. I just, I, I switch up. I brought some books. I did once when I went to Spain to read a lot about the pool and stuff. They didn't do anything. <laughs> just sat in the uh, the beach bag and. I just had my music on in the end. Yeah, great lava, love it. And it's still, there's loads still in the, the bowl, you know. Doesn't uh, disappear or anything like that. 
Yeah, you buy quality. I mean, as I said, if I lived in the States and the shipping wasn't so horrendous, I'd probably have, have every soap because I, I do love it that much. Um, it's great soap. Right, heating the razor for the third pass uh, against the against the brownie. I knew this sink would make an appearance. He's singing. Yeah, if I'm a bit off, you know, if I sound a bit off, it's just because I'm not well, that's all. I try and keep positive, but sometimes when you've got the man flu, us men know what it's like. It's horrendous. Um, yeah, my wife worked very well, to be honest, the past week or so. Week and a bit. She's still not 100% now. But she has, she was tested for COVID. So I thought, well, maybe I've got, but I've tested it. It's just kind of a cold for me. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, it's man flu for me, so yeah, it's, it's a lot worse than that. But to be honest, the symptom she's got is she lost the taste and like a cold symptoms uh, and feeling tired. She's a lot better than she was, but she's not 100%. I'm gonna go down here because the mole. I always go down again down here. Gonna go over the pickups anyway. Yeah, right. We're gonna get to the grain. Um, yeah, here we go. So I'm just a bit worried because this blade isn't really. I got a feeling I might get a nick. Yeah, it's nicking. Not nicking. It's uh, pulling. Yeah, it's not the best blade. I should have had a bl sand boy blade. That'll do. I'll rinse the face and see where we stand. Warm water rinse. I've got it all over my face <laughs> everywhere. Right. Yeah, it's, it's not, but you know, BBS, but a little bit, but I don't really want to keep going over it because of shaving rash, shaving rash, yeah, shaving rash, irritation, that's the word I wanted to say. Um, yeah, I'm not happy with them blades, maybe it's just a good blade I've used, um, but you know, it, I'll try it again, uh, another blade, a new blade maybe, and see how we'll get on, um, but First, first like impression, is that they're not the sharpest. I don't know if it's like that for you guys. Some of you guys might have that blade and think it's fantastic. But for me, it's not one of my favourites at the moment. I'll give it the benefit of the doubt and try it again. So I'm going to rinse the face with cold water now. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, I mean, you don't feel too good when you put cold water into your face. Oh. <laughs> dry my hands and then the face. Yes. Yeah, I got a cold or something coming. <laughs> I will let you know if I do a video though. If I don't do a video, I always put it into my community section on my YouTube channel. I try and do previews as well. I've been starting to do that. I don't know if it's something you like or you don't even know. Yeah, if you go onto my my channel and click on community, it will give you um, a preview of what's coming up. I don't always do it, but I've been trying to keep on top of it. Um, and then I delete it once I've done the video because it's on it's on there for it's on there then, isn't it? So yeah, happy with that. Um, as I said, I'm not going to keep going on about the blade, but uh, razor has been fantastic. I'm not too sure what this is made out of. What I'll do is I'll put everything in the uh, description anyway, like the scent notes and all that kind of stuff. Um, just because my phone is now. Uh, filming me and all my info is on the phone <laughs> but anyway we're gonna go into the splash now um, I got this off eBay it got posted to me I've received it yesterday it posted the day before which was a when, when was it oh I don't know um, oh god that come out really 
the restrictor. Yeah, there is a restrictor. You just come out and gloves. Yeah, sting on the top lip. I thought it might. Wow, that smells nice though. This is the first time using this as well. As I say, I was going to try and get the matching splash. Um, with these pull foes. I was going to get the matching splash, but I wanted to do this video with a vintage uh, kind of scent. I like the smell of that. Woo, that is nice. I wonder if the newer version is the same smell. If you know, let me know in the comments because I did see the one with the, tss, tss, you know, <laughs> the tss, tss, and it was newer. This one, this formula, formula. I said it right the first time. <laughs> it no, I don't. I know that this was out in the sixties, but this was made in. It says at the bottom twenty twenty. Move down. It says twenty thirteen. It was made. Whether that changed the formula, I don't know. I know they keep redoing formulas, vintage stuff. It's quite hard to get the original. So this, I'm new to this Aramis, Aramis, or whatever it is. So I tried to get the earliest I could for the money. I mean, I paid 22 for that, which I thought was quite cheap. The stuff on there, which is like 60s and it's 128 pounds. I was like, I don't really want to pay it that because <laughs> they could top it up with water or anything, you know, taking a risk. But anyway, I'll shut up and go into my barn. My barn's going to be Parasso or Parasso or Parazzo, wherever it is, aftershave barn. Uh, there's not really a scent to this. So that's the reason why I've had it. And I've seen it in the cupboard because I was thinking about it. Parasso, 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 Parasso. I was thinking about doing a shave, um, but I couldn't find some of the products. Did I just show you what I put in my hand? Well, it was a gulp. <laughs> oh, that's nice stuff. It's got a slight, slight smell to it, but it, it complimenting that. It's like a powdery smell, so that's quite good. Right, I'm going to dry my hands now. And wish you a fantastic Sunday and have a fantastic rest of the week. Rest of the week. Going into the new week, I hope, hope you have a great week. Yeah, I am rambling. <laughs> but as I say, I ain't 100%. I got man flu. You guys know what it's like. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I hate this plug bit. Uh, hit the thumbs up. And also, um, let me know what you're shaving with or what you're going to shave. Um, yeah, it gives me ideas, as I say. Um, I appreciate you all. And thank you so much for following me. So until next time, I'll see you Wednesday for the Wednesday shave. So try a bit and I'll see you later. Try.